brethren, I pray you sing a new song. Sing praise in the assembly of the righteous. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let the high praise of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. Dishonor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Christian, though. It's all right. You're supposed to be an example. Don't lecture me. Don't lecture How old are you? Okay, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right up underneath you. I'm, I'm 40 something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm right up there. I'm right there. What's up with it, bro? This ain't nothing but love. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, I would say, uh, you really believe in the Bible. Hey, if you really believe in the Bible, yeah, it's all that stuff. I don't mind you asking, you know. That's a good thing. You, you, you asked for a reason. The Bible says man's goings is of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, it was a reason why you asked. You know what I'm saying? I know about the Bible too. Okay. Then we're going to hit you. We're going to help you up. Go ahead. You got that. What you got? I got Isaiah 5 and 11. What's that? Hey, what's up with it, bro? Book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. That's what the Bible says. You know what they're saying? It says woe. The Bible says woe. W-O-E. That means destruction unto you who rise up early in the morning with strong drink. So if you rise up early in the morning to, to consume drink, to get drunk, it says destruction upon you. This is what the, this is what the Bible says. Hold on, brother. No, 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 no. Hey, let's get that. Open with good goodness, because we don't want to think. We don't, hold on, hold on. Because this is what the Bible says. Well, you leave it from you leave from God, then, brother. Because we, we, uh, uh, Proverbs twenty-seven. Proverbs twenty-seven five. Let's get it. So check this out. This is the Bible, brother. This is, you said you're a Christian, right? This is what the, this is what God's words are saying. God's words are speaking to you right now. Go ahead. Proverbs twenty-seven. Twenty-seven to five. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Read out. Open rebuke is better than secret love. It says open rebuke. Openly rebuking someone is better than loving someone secretly. That's open rebuke. It's just that. Brother, you are an elder. You're supposed to be an example for us. And if you are if you are drinking in the morning, you are you are you are giving us an example. All right, brother. We ain't, we ain't fussing at you. We just trying to show you love according to the Bible. Read that one more time and we done. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Read it again. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Read it again. Open rebuke is better than secret love. One more time. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Open rebuke is better than secret love, brother. Okay? All right, now. Don't follow But we follow after the rest of the world. Like, you call yourself an American, right? Yeah. See? You doing that? That pisses the most high off, man. You call yourself American because that's not what the most high know you by. You're from the nation of Israel. Right. You're probably from Judah if your uh, father is a Negro. That means that will make you from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. We don't know. But read that. This is Ezekiel 39, verse 23. Read out. And the he shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Right, so this is the last captivity. We This ain't our first rodeo. This captivity right here, you see the white man doing us, we had all nations had us like this. But this is the last one. This is the one where the heathen gonna know that the only reason this happened to us is because of what? Uh, because they trespassed against me. Right? Therefore I hid my face from them. And this is the result of the most of us trespassing the most high and him hiding his face from us. The most high don't reach out to the sky and spank our ass individually. He 
sent us into captivity, slavery under people that already hate us. Nah. That's why you out here in the slums don't know what the hell going on. You at the hoods though, buying cigarettes and hey, yeah. we don't know what's next. Right. That's the results of it for crossing the most high at the end of the day. And then we let so-called white people tell us that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with, and that's not the case. Man. The right. Commandments will never be done away with, man. <laughs> this, is, this is what governs us as a nation, and it was stripped away from us. And it's the only thing that's gonna get us back on track. Look at our people, man. Look around this system. Let's just, let's just look at 6-1. Look at 6-1. You old enough to understand, it's like, damn, it ain't nothing coming out of this place. It's nothing, it's just death lingering around. Right, so read that. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. Right, so, right here. Who was we giving to right here? The white people. The white people, exactly. You say that proud, that's a good thing. Because some people be afraid to say that. Right. So it says, the Most High said he gave us into the hand of our enemies. The Most High did. Hey, if y'all got some precepts, bring it out, man. Right, I got some. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, I, I, I think it's yes, more on it. So fell they all by the sword. Right. So we all fell by the sword. They came over here. That's what we fell by. At the end of the day, man. So the Most High is the one who did this to us. It is nothing... It wasn't because they were stronger than us. It wasn't because they were smarter than us. It's because the Most High sent them, and He gave them the spirit to overcome. Us. Whoever wins a battle, that's who side. That's the side the Most High is on. At the end of the day, we'll go ahead. Now. This is Deuteronomy four and twenty-seven. Bring it out. It says, "And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathens, whether the Lord shall lead you." So He scattered us, like He told us earlier. He, we, were, we were scattered amongst the nations. sin but they don't really know sin so this is what we are trying to do We're trying to tell our people not to sin to repent to stay away from sin like we got to teach our people all over again what sin is a lot of our people don't know what sin is and they claim to be christians you know what i'm saying so uh this is what we are doing We're trying to educate and uplift our people and bring them back to the most high god bid them back to the marriage you see what i'm saying because it says in amos chapter 2 uh let me and says in verse 1, it says, Hear these words the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, so God brought us out of the land of Egypt. And he said this, You only have I known, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's what God said to, to you as an Israelite man. You, have I, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Uh, Iniquity is adding sin on top of sin. You're not knowing what sin is, and keep adding on top of that. Never uh, repent it. Never, never ask it for forgiveness. Uh, and we're going to find out what sin is. I don't know if you, do you know what sin is. Uh, yeah, I know what sin is, what you do wrong, and okay. you don't repent from it, well, and you stay doing wrong. A lot of times, your thought of doing wrong is different from God's thought of doing wrong. You might not think nothing's wrong with celebrating. That's, that's putting yourself as a God on that day. It's about me. It's my birthday. It should be about me. You should be saying, happy birthday to me. You have just violated the first commandment. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. God, this is Isaiah 55 and seven, uh, 8. Bring it out. Isaiah 55 and 8. Bring it out. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. I'm just showing you that his thoughts are not ours. We're going to go off. Right, we gonna listen. Our hearts are are desperately wicked, right. so we gotta go and cleave to this Bible and cleave onto Him. Go ahead. It's the book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Right. Now, now, whosoever committed sin transgressed of the law, the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression, meaning it's the breaking of God's law. Is that it? So sin is the breaking of God's law. So you gotta find out what sin is. You gotta find out what the law say in order for you not to sin no more, right? That makes sense, right? Right, so today is the seventh day, right? And we're not supposed to buy, sell, or trade today. We're not supposed to do our own pleasure on this day. We're supposed to be speaking God's word on this day, right? That's that that that's staying away from sin today, right? So, and that's what we're trying to tell you. Go ahead, bro. I just remember 
seeing you in Claremore. I was just speaking to you. You said in Claremore? At Glenpool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's good. Cool. Oh, that's right. That was my brother. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I was just driving by. And I was like, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. That's what's up, brother. Hey, man, get with me, man. Get with me. That's what's up. Hey, but do you? Okay, okay. That's why I was like, I'm like, hey, you like, why are you turning around? Bro, call me. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You got my number. Yeah, he knew me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.